Hi everybody, it's Lisa, owner of Peaches Skincare. You can visit us at peachesskincare.com and I also invite you to follow us on Facebook or Instagram to see a little bit about who we are and what my estheticians can do for you. Today's video is going to be on acne. Uh, while looking at a different, uh, different videos on different platforms, I have really noticed that a lot of you are watching people that talk a lot about skin. And I think it's really great that everyone has so much passion for skin, but you're listening to people that base their skincare ideas on their own skin or maybe a product that they're representing. They have no practical knowledge of taking care of skin. And I started to think, I am different. And I am different because I'm a master esthetician with over three decades of taking care of skin. So between myself and my estheticians, we have seen over a hundred thousand clients. And we have to take care of your skin without giving you medication or doing something invasive. We have to look at things naturally. And I can tell you, when someone listens to us and when someone is diligent about taking care of their skin, their skin changes 100%. Um, these are my ideals and they work if you listen. So what is acne? Acne is pimples, blackheads, whiteheads. You all know what the, it is. It can be a bump on your skin. It can be a cyst under your skin. I have heard people tell me, well, um, I don't really have any blackheads, but the doctor says I have adult acne. Or, you know, my daughter is a teenager. She's just got acne because she's I'm going through puberty or my son or whatever. That is not how acne works. I think that acne is based on what I call the volcano effect. So your skin is abused and abused and abused. And then finally, one day, everything just comes out. Or you can be in a different environment, different flora and fauna, uh, different water, and you can catch something. So our skin has natural bacteria and fungus always on it. And it's when you open up the skin that you start to have an issue. So for a teenager, it can be that a young girl, by watching all of these videos and thinking that they've got to have this perfectly flawless skin, or they think that the person they're watching has flawless skin when really they've had their makeup done for two hours, don't be naive, they start to wear foundation. They start to cover everything up. Concealers and foundations and different powders that's why they start to break out. The skin just can't take it anymore. Or a young man or a young woman starts doing sports. So I see where they're sweating and they are breaking out on their chest and their back, or their chin strap is not clean and so they are getting acne along their chin, or their baseball cap is dirty and they're getting acne along their forehead. So acne comes about because we don't know how to take care of it or we're not taught how to take care of it. As adults, it can be because of your menstrual cycle. Um, it's not that the acne comes because of your hormones and your menstrual cycle. The acne comes because we heat up during that time. We get warmer. We are making more oil in our skin. And so volcano effect again, everything just starts to come out that is in those dirty pores. So why do you get acne, typically it's because of something you're doing to your skin. Now, a lot of people have said to me, Lisa, I'm never going off my foundation. And I'm pretty sure a lot of makeup companies are not happy that I'm saying this. And you're probably wondering why no one else does. I read an article the other day and they actually said, and they quoted a doctor by saying, foundation protects your skin. I was blown away. If you are naive enough to think that something with chemicals and color is protecting your skin, you're crazy. Your skin protects your skin. When you put a healthy moisturizer on your skin, that protects your skin. When you wear a hat, that protects your skin. When you use clean serums, that protects your skin. When you mask, that protects your skin. But when you clean your skin, and then right before you're done and ready for the day, you take a tube of foundation or a tube of color and you put it all over your face, I don't care how natural they tell you it is, it absolutely damages your skin and it is absolutely causing acne. I'm going to bet that many of you during this um, kind of lockdown period or this shelter in place period saw your skin getting better because you weren't putting foundation on it. 
Um, I know that some of you uh, actually reached out to me and said your skin had never been better. So just be aware that what you're doing to your skin is what can be the problem. Now, if you're an athlete, clean your, your gear that touches your face, uh, put cornstarch under your uh, soccer uniform, but know that there are reasons and causes for acne that you can start uh, to, to change or turn around. Also, don't pluck your skin. You saw me do a whole video on waxing and how to remove hair. A lot of times when young men start to grow hair on their faces and women too, they shave improperly or they cut their skin and that is what gets bacteria into the epidermis and the dermis and causes acne. So you don't need to rush off to the doctor a doctor has a ton of experience. I honor many of the professionals that refer to me, but there are so many dermatologists that don't even ask you what you're eating, don't even ask you what you're wearing on your skin or what you're washing with. So be your own advocate and find out why you're breaking out. Now, what can you do when you break out? I have a ton of different tricks. So obviously you want to make sure your skin is clean and you all know how much I love milk and magnesia. Now, why would I recommend something for over three decades that didn't work? It works. You can put it on a pimple and that pimple will essentially dry out within a few hours of the next day, or it will at least get smaller. Sometimes it'll bring everything up to a head where you can clean it out um, in a healthy manner. Remember, always wrap tissue around your fingers. So milk of magnesia will help you and it's so inexpensive and you can get it at the drugstore or the grocery store. That's the first thing. Another thing that you need to do is keep the inside of your nose clean. So this is where staph starts and it's why, if you think about it, we start to break out in these areas. So take a little alcohol. I keep mine in this little pink container. Get a little Q-tip and just clean the inside of your nose. It's amazing what it does. It also, I showed this to you at the very beginning when we were all I'm having to stay in shelter in place. It really keeps you healthy. It keeps you from getting colds. It actually can help with um, any allergies. And that's another thing. Sometimes when you think you're breaking out, it can be that you're having an allergic reaction to something, something that's too strong in your product. A product like Proactive has so much benzoyl peroxide in it that it actually starts to work at first and you think you're drying out your whole skin and all the acne is going away, but your skin is actually callousing and building over it to, to protect your skin. And then after about six to eight weeks, volcano effect, all of the acne starts to come forward. So just know that you can be causing your acne. I just want to keep saying that because so many of you think it's something that is out of your control. What's another thing that you can do? Baking soda scrubs. You know how much I believe in baking soda scrubs. Baking soda uh, acts like a mild exfoliant, like a microdermabrasion. So if you have scar tissue, if you have purple marks on your skin, red marks on your skin, all you'll do, now my skin is clean, is you will make sure to wet the area, take a little bit of baking soda, get it kind of wet in a paste, and just work it around your skin. Now, I love baking soda scrubs every day, and essentially, I just work it around my skin. Really be detailed. Get every little nook and cranny. And baking soda, can be invaluable to your skin. I challenge you to do one baking soda scrub, no matter how dark your skin is, no matter how light your skin is. And if you don't see a difference, I'm gonna be shocked. You will see your skin change just from one baking soda scrub. And when you can, get back in the salons and get microdermabrasion or find an esthetician near you if you're not near peaches that can do microdermabrasion for you. What is another thing that you can do? You can get yourself some Persigel. So Persigel comes in a blue box. It is a benzoyl peroxide in a time-released form. So all that means is that it's releasing benzoyl peroxide throughout the day, keeping your skin nice and clean. So after you have exfoliated your skin, you've seen me do a facial a few times in videos past, 
you have exfoliated to loosen all the gook. And I want to reiterate washing. I also see so many people telling you with acne, don't wash your face or only wash at night. You've got to be kidding me. During the night is when everything in your skin starts to come out. Your skin is the largest organ and it's filtering everything out of your system. So when you wake up in the morning, you almost have a film on your skin. You've got to exfoliate away that film, loosen everything, rinse it away, and then wash your face. Now, I recommend cleanser, our face food, and I recommend our restore. So face food is something that you're just gonna use all the time, and restore is something that you might use if you're feeling oily, if you're on your menstrual cycle, if you just got back from a, a football game or a baseball game that you played in, uh, if you worked out. But you've got to wash your skin every day, and it's gotta be with something that feeds it and cleans it. After you wash your face, uh, especially if you have any acne scars, you do want to polish. So polish is just a form of sugar and milk that will actually, and here we go, you'll just rub it around any scars or acne or any marks on your skin. Now, if you have active acne, you can actually use your polish on it, but we also want to dry and pull out that pimple or pull out that infection. So a lot of these things while washing will start to pull it out so that you can clean it out naturally. And then you would just put your milk of magnesia on it. Okay. Uh, so back to Persadel. After you have cleaned your skin, you will either tone with apple cider vinegar toner. You can get your own apple cider vinegar. Make sure it's a um, it's got the mother in it and it's a raw apple cider. And all I do is you can put that on directly on your skin. You can water it down a little bit, it kills any bacteria and fungus, or you can spray RACV on your skin, and then. Take your Persagel and just put it all over your skin. I'm not an advocate of spot, uh, spotting with Persagel. It really shouldn't just go on one area. If you're breaking out here, you're typically going to be breaking out here and on your chest and on your back. It's all connected skin. I always say it's like a freeway system. So put that Persagel all over your skin. Know that Persagel, because it is a benzoyl peroxide, can bleach your clothes and can bleach your pillowcases and things. Um, but it's worth it and just wear an old t-shirt or put a t-shirt under a nice shirt that you're wearing. So Persagel, what's another thing you can do? Monistat 7 Classic. Guys, yes, this was originally made for yeast infection, or not really originally, it was used for yeast infection, girls used for yeast infection, but it's actually uh, Macazanol nitrate and even a doctor can prescribe this to you. Um, but this is over the counter and all it does is it really kills fungus. And again, don't just spot treat with it, put it all over your skin, protect your whole tissue of your skin, your face, your neck, your chest, your back. So get both of those on your skin. Now, um, just a little uh, thing to remember, if you feel red, if you feel irritated, it's usually going to be the Persagel that causes any irritation because about 75% of clients uh, do really well with Persagel, but there's another 25% that do have a reaction to benzoyl peroxide. So be aware of that. Um, another thing you can do, and I'm so embarrassed, I don't wear, wear makeup. And so my daughter was over and she took one of my beautiful powder brushes that I use for cornstarch and I let her take it. So I have this real old school br uh, powder brush, but I just thought I'd show you guys. Essentially, after you put your moisturizer on, instead of using foundation, instead of using these powders that can also break you out, just take some cornstarch and put it all over your skin. And I wanted to show you with this brush how you can't see it. And cornstarch is clean and healthy. It will keep your skin supple, but it will also keep the barrier from getting fungus or bacteria or getting too oily. Cornstarch is amazing. You can put cornstarch anywhere on your body and you will see such a difference. So that is cornstarch instead of these makeups and powders. And a lot of my estheticians wear this. Another thing, keep your gut clean. Eat well. 
Don't drink sodas. Yes, try to cut down on sugar. I have seen huge results from getting clients to uh, stop eating any dairy. I do think dairy can really cause acne in a lot of people. So if you do eat a lot of dairy, maybe cut it out for a couple months and see how that works. But if you can keep your flora and your gut clean, that is going to be essential to good skin health. So you can drink apple cider vinegar, shake it up. I like to put it in a shot glass. I actually show you in a couple videos how to drink it. So fill the shot glass up about three quarters, add water to it, drink it down, and then drink some water behind it as quick as you can. But when you get the floor and your gut clean, your skin starts to become clean. It's almost like taking an antibiotic only it's natural to your system. It gets everything nice and clean inside. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of a lot of the do your, you know, do your own uh, masks and things at home. I've told you that before. You have to be really aware of those things because bacteria can grow in them or fungus. But if you make something like a mask, I think I've showed you in wrinkles how to do an aspirin and manuka honey mask, use it right then. Use it right away and then throw the rest of it away. So you can use those things. Just be very mindful on your skin. I've actually seen turmeric. A couple clients have asked me about turmeric. I do take turmeric every day. I show you that in my nutrition video. But putting turmeric on your face you can get some great benefits from it, but it can really make your face orange. So be mindful of that and it stains everything. Um, another thing, I do like to use my Foreo when I wash. I used to use a Clairsonic, but Clairsonic got bought out by L'Oreal and it's just not as good of a product anymore. So you can use a Foreo if you'd like to. You can use a little facial brush, but your fingertips are just great. You don't need anything fancy and expensive to wash your face. Change your pillowcase. I've seen people say change your pillowcase every week. Change it every couple days. Wear your hair back when you go to sleep at night. Pull it back off your face. And if you're going to be home, pull your hair back regardless. You know, I have my hair in either a ponytail or a bun a lot, just keeping it off of my skin. And wear a mask to bed. You all know how much I love Milk and Magnesia. I just showed it to you a little bit ago. Wear it to bed. You will see such a huge improvement in your skin by wearing it the first night. I promise you, you'll be blown away by it. Uh, Miracle Mask, if you have any scars, you can take Miracle Mask and you can put it on those scars overnight and the enzymes of pumpkin and papaya will eat away at that skin tissue and it will change the discoloration. But you also wanna make sure that that pimple has been cleaned out and that you've gotten it clean. So those are some great ideas on how to take care of your acne, to get rid of your acne. Stop wearing foundation, keep your skin super clean, and mask your face and be aware of keeping your hair off your face, the oils from your hair. I know that many of you are struggling with acne and many of you think that acne is just a part of your life. You've had it since you were young and you're gonna have it until you're an adult. I just wanted to lastly share, one of my oldest clients was 85 years old and his name was Paul. And he came to me and he told me that he'd had acne his whole life. And it took me probably two hours to clean all the blackheads out of his face. And when we were done, his skin looked better than it had in all the years that he remembered. He became one of my amazing clients for over 10 years and his skin was beautiful. You can take care of your skin. Don't let someone tell you that you've got some horrible thing going on and then they don't even touch it or try to clean it out. And for goodness sake, find an esthetician in your area to take care of your skin. There are so many men and women right now that need you to come into their businesses that are estheticians, book an appointment, get a facial. And if you break out the first time, that's good. That means all of the callus layer got removed and all the junk is finally coming out and your skin is alive and working and functioning and doing what it needs to do, purging. Wear your milk of magnesia, ask them how to take care of it when you get home and get back in there within two weeks for another facial because your skin changes every 28 to 29 days and you wanna stay ahead of that. 
but take care of your skin and your skin will take care of you. I have so many more things I could tell you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please go onto our website, look at our Instagram and Facebook for more information and some before and afters. And I'd love it if you would like, please like and subscribe to these channels. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you during the next video.